Hello everybody, this is What's Review again, and I'm here to show you today the two different desktop environments of Ubuntu. Ubuntu has uh, two different versions of look and feel to it. The one that you're seeing right now is called Genome, and this is the one that Ubuntu has used for multiple years now, and it's uh, really been polished over. Just released as of April 2011 was a second one called Unity, and I'll show that one later on in this video, but right now I want to focus on Genome, and I'm just going to give you guys a quick walk around of what you can expect. So at the bottom here, you, you'll see a, uh, a bar that looks probably very familiar to most of you. It has a little Windows bar, like Windows does the operating system, where you can open up and close your windows. This is just a sh go to desktop one, so if we click this, it'll disappear everything. And then over here you have trash, and we'll get to this later. At the top, this is going to be new to you. You're probably not very used to having a top bar, but a lot of these features that are right up here are found in the bottom bar in Windows. So, some features like that could be, like the Wi-Fi is usually down here in Windows, as well as sound and time. But also from up here you can access your power control, and any mail clients that you have, like such as chat or actual mail. From here, over on the left side, you'll see kind of like what is the equivalent of the start menu in Windows. Here you can we have three choices, applications, places, and systems. And in the applications, you can obviously launch your applications that you have installed to the computer. It's worthy to note that Ubuntu comes installed, pre-installed with Office software. So if you need to write any papers or anything like that, you're good to go with that. It's all free. And you, so you can see anything that you installed in here. Next is Places. This is where you access your files. We can go ahead and open up my home folder. And from here, we could go into something like my documents, and we can see all of the documents I have on my thing. As well as doing this, you could just click this, and we can click Documents as well, and it would open up straight to Documents instead of having to go through everything. Next is System. Here you can get everything from changing your appearance, like your desktop background, to other things such as Remote Desktop, or Ubuntu One, which is a free online storage like, software that's offered. In administration, you'll see things such as your Update Manager, users and groups, and etc. So one thing that Ubuntu has that Windows does not is workspaces. These are the workspaces I was talking about a little bit earlier. And what these do is these allow you to switch in between screens and they act as if you have multiple desktop monitors. So if you look here, you'll notice that we have a terminal open. This is what's capturing the video and my audio as I speak to you. And you'll see this right here. If we switch workspace to the one right here, you'll see I have a Google Chrome open. And that terminal is not there anymore. It's right over here again. So we can switch in between multiple desktops and workspaces to view what we want at what time. Uh, this is not something you have to use all the time, but it's there if you want to use it. So this is pretty much Genome in a nutshell. Um, I will next be talking about Unity, and I'll do that right after this. I just have to uh, log off of my computer and log back in in the different one. So hold on for one second, and I'll be back. Hello, everybody, and I'm back. And now you are looking at what is called Unity. This was just introduced on April, at the end of April 2011. And it's a more of a Windows 7 or a Mac looking desktop environment for Ubuntu. Um, so you see on the sidebar here, you have any of your applications. These are open ones, have these little dash. Unopened ones have that are pinned to it have just appeared so you can launch them at any time. You'll notice that the bottom bar is gone now completely. Any window switching is all done from up here. And the top bar looks all pretty much the same on the right except for missing the uh, applications, the places, and the system. So this is pretty much how the new one looks. It's a lot of the same functionality, but it's just accessed a little bit differently. So to open up a home folder, for example, we would open up this and we could scroll. Still all my files, everything else is there perfectly. And then if we open up the software center too, you just can switch in between everything by hitting on it like this, and everything will switch around. Good for you. I would recommend this only for if you've been using Ubuntu for a little while or are more familiar with this kind of setup um, simply because I believe that Genome 
which is the one that was in the beginning of the video, is a little bit simpler to navigate with the uh, applications menu in places. It really makes it uh, really easy to navigate. Whereas with this, you have applications, but it's right here, and you kind of have to scroll through everything. It's not organized as neatly as it was before. So if, it can be harder to find things if you don't know the name of them. There is a search feature, but if you don't know the name, then you're kind of in trouble. If you are going to use Unity, I recommend going to System Settings right here, as this will have the uh, best look. It'll be the easiest for you to find what kind of systems settings you need to tweak. It's uh, everything centralized in this one place, and that can be really good for you. So just keep that in mind. You still have your workspace switcher. It just appears right here. And it's a little bit more graphical than it was before. So we can still go ahead and uh, switch in between everything if we wanted to. But that is pretty much all that I have for you on this. Um, once again, next we'll probably be talking about how to install Ubuntu. So if you have liked what you've seen so far and think that you want to give it a shot, I have a really foolproof way to install it and try it out. So, um, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.